Hello, we are Hannah and Eliza Riley, and we are the creators, directors, writers, stars of, of Sheila's. <laughs> Sheila's is about uncovering and celebrating the most badass women of Australian history, and the focus is so often on the men of history, but we were just so excited to find out and discover women who haven't really had their time in the sun yet. Women that you may not have heard of growing up, but we feel that everyone should. Some of them are not necessarily quote unquote good. But all of them are completely amazing and memorable. Oh, oh. Bitch, it's Mary. The Gender Matters Initiative is the reason Sheila's came about. So we applied for their Brilliant Stories category and we were awarded $50,000, which when we were told, I was just screaming into the phone being like, oh my God, we're going to make a 3D movie. Yeah, We've got like, $50,000. We're going to make a whole movie. <laughs> oh my God. And it was like, you've got about enough to make about 10 minutes. And we're like, sick, can do. Cheers. It has been a really important thing for us as in terms of that first circuit breaker because you can't prove yourself until someone gives you a chance. And that's really what the Sheila's pilot was for us. From there, we were funded to make another three parts. Working across many different mediums such as radio, theatre and now film and TV and multi-platform, it's really important to actually have an understanding right in the writer's room of what the actual jokes are that you need to hit by the end of the edit. I promise you, you will not think that you have a funny bone in your entire body after a long day in the edit booth. So it's important that you actually go back to that script. That was a joke, that was a joke, we already clocked that in. You don't get the feedback like you do in the theater. So you actually need to be able to trust yourself in that edit room or have one person in your life that you can show the rough cut to. I have that. Do you have that? I think it's you, right? <laughs> you don't have anyone else in your life that you show a rough gut to. Don't bring my personal life out here, Eliza. <laughs> okay. Enter badass feminist radical, Mel Fonten. One of our rules just going through writing is towards the end of it, just counting how many actual jokes that you have on the page. Every frame, there's like more opportunities for jokes and we're big admirers of shows like Arrested Development who do a lot of visual jokes. We really feel it's important to also be open to let the best ideas rise to the top and sometimes they come from collaboration on the day, from giving different departments like the art department or wardrobe the opportunity to add a joke or a, a choice that they think will bring more value to the project. This is so disrespectful. So because Eliza and I are across so many roles, we sat down and tried to decide what was the most efficient way of splitting those roles, especially when it came to directing. And so we decided to uh, each take a different episode and then split the final one. We found that to be really effective because instead of two people doing one job, it's splitting the workload and also gives the other person the brain capacity to be able to be answering a million other questions from other people and leaving the director to be focused on directly what's happening next. Working with a crew on Sheila's that was very experienced, arguably more experienced than us, it was really important. Our DOP, Miles Bentz, was incredible at being able to let us feel empowered, but also guide us when we needed to as directors. Sheila's is definitely a show that we made because we really need to watch something like it. We're so excited to finally show Sheila's to the world. If you want to watch Sheila's, which I'm sure you do, uh, you can head to Sheila's.tv or uh, facebook.com forward slash iconic duo, which is us. Mm -hmm.